Those suspects, Alex and Christine, are still on the run tonight. The owner of the Wig Ferry in Beverly Hills is hoping someone out there recognizes these thieves. Two and a half minutes total. That's all it took. Two and a half minutes. Everything. Two and a half minutes. People's identities were taken from them. Yeah, surveillance video from outside Mona Zargar's store shows the three suspects using some sort of sticks and rocks to break into the Wig Ferry about 4 a.m. August 22nd, which was yesterday morning. Now, once inside, you see them there. They just ransacked this store. This is on La Cienega, by the way. They got away with custom wigs made with human hair. She tells Fox 11 for the more than 10 years she has owned her shop. She has been making wigs for vulnerable clients who depend on her. Most of our clients are all cancer patients. Um, we have alopecia, we have hair loss, but the cancer patients, they don't have time. They're not going to have hair. They're not going to be able to wear their to wig to their son's wedding. They can't wear their wig to the kid's school. They can't. What are they going to do? Now, Zargar has, of course, filed a police report with Beverly Hills PD. Here's another look at those suspects. It is hard to make them out. Zargar believes it's two or three women. If it's two women, then it'd be two women and a man, perhaps, or just three women. Of course, if you know anything about the theft, please contact Beverly Hills Police. They are working on that. In the meantime, Mar Zargar would love for donations to be made to the BraveProgram.org. This is a nonprofit. The website's there on your screen. This is a nonprofit that she works with is specifically designed to help out women who are going through hair loss, whether that's cancer related or alopecia related, whatever it is. She said that's a great place to, to donate in this time of, of need for her. Alex Christine.